Hey everybody, John Adolfi here. Welcome to another one of our HUD homes at 4091 Kidron Lane, which is right off of Mesa, which is right off of Route 57 in Liverpool. Here's the lay of the land. And what we have here is a, well, what it says here is a two bedroom, bath and a half home. Hmm, I bet you there's more downstairs. Well, we're gonna find out if there is or not. Let's see if there's anything else I can tell you. 1,284 square feet, again, it may be that it's just the upper that they're doing. There may be a lot more square feet. 73 by 105 lot size, built 1985. Let's take a look around the back, then we'll head inside. All right, already I like the vinyl siding on it. It is vinyl, right? Let me check, double check. Oh, it looked like vinyl siding. It's aluminum, and I can't see the roof because this April snow is covering it. Got a multi-tier deck that needs a little bit of uh, attention, and a smaller backyard. Okay, in the industry they call it a low maintenance yard. <laughs> All okay, right, let's here we go. Ooh, that's a cheap vinyl flooring. There in the entryway, there's no floor covering on the stairs going up. Kind of a cramped, smaller living room, but not horrible. Okay, the windows are gonna need to be replaced. And it's got that lovely pergo-like flooring in here. The orange has gotta go. So far, and it's been torn up, you know, by pets and whatnot. And it's just, needs to be gone through. Already I can tell it needs to be gone through. Yeah, okay. Cabinets are original 1985 El Cheapo Deluxe. Master bedroom, walk-in closet. Now that's not bad right there. Um, I would say this is a large bedroom. Hear that underneath my feet? Yeah, I know it's cold in here, but still, look at this, no floor covering at all. Oh, look what they did. No wonder it's a two bedroom. All right, okay. Bathroom. 1985 tile floor, tile, that looks good. The tile on the on the shower, all these X's there, just make sure nobody pours any liquid down there. Okay, let's go down cellar. Do this all in one, one shot. Down here we've got foam where there was carpeting. It feels and smells uh, dry down here, which is nice. So you got an additional room. Okay, there's your electrical panel. Fine. And here you got a bathroom. Full bath? Half a bath. Nice paneling. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Laundry room. Got a washer and dryer back here. Oh, there we go. Furnaces, maybe original, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Hot water tank looks good. Again, nice and dry down here, which is nice. And then out here in the one car garage, not a whole lot to see here anyways. Oh, looked like it was a two car garage at one time, but it wasn't. It just, it's just kind of wide here. This kind of surprised me. All right, not a whole lot to see, just uh, foundation and sheetrock and then we got a little door right there all right I'll give you my final thoughts in just a all second. right so you know there's quite a bit of interior work that needs to be done to make it right uh, kitchen really can be used but it's just that it's it's older and it's cheap and a new kitchen can be expensive as you know and mr. thumb oh mr. thumb where did you just come from and so eighty thousand dollars the asking price mr. thumb is going to give it a Ooh, a half thumbs up. Mr. Thumb, would you be excited if it was $65,000? Oh, absolutely. So somewhere between 80 and 65 is going to really excite Mr. Thumb, and it just may excite you. So give us a call, 695-6434. Take a look at this government-owned HUD home, see if it's for you. And just remember, the thumb never lies, and real estate is awesome.